Okay, a plus 3, a minus 3, and a plus 1. Okay, Kane, how come you didn't say a minus 3 twice? Yes, exactly. Uh, we're only looking for what's common. So even though both terms have a minus 3, we only have to write it down once, okay? That's the mistake I see a lot on tests. These kids write it twice. You only have to write it once. But I chose very simple numerators so that we can illustrate um, each example how we find the new numerator. So if we're looking at just this rational expression, there's a 1, the original 1 in the denominator, but for this particular rational expression that I've drawn the box around, what is, uh, are those binomials, or what is that denominator missing in order to match our common denominator? So I'm trying to make this look exactly like this. What is it missing? A plus 1. A plus 1, yes. Yeah. So because it's missing an A plus 1, we are going to multiply the original denominator by A plus 1. If it was missing more than one binomial, I would multiply it by more than one binomial. You always multiply the original numerator by whatever is missing in order to get the uh, new lowest common denominator. Same thing for my second term. Now I'm focusing on this rational expression. What is it missing in order to match up to the uh, lowest common denominator? What binomial is it missing? Yes. A plus 3, good. So this question is a little bit simple because 1 multiplied by anything is still that term. So my numerator is simply going to be A plus 1 plus A plus 3 all over A plus 3, A minus 3, A plus 1. And we have to just make sure that we are combining the like terms. So a plus a is going to give me 2a. 1 plus 3 is going to give me 4. And my denominator stays in factored form. Now, can I leave my answer like this? Is there anything that I have to do to the numerator? Say me. Yes, we always want to make sure that things are in factored form in case once you factor the greatest common factor out, you may be able to cancel. So I'm going to take the greatest common factor between 2a and 4 out, so that leaves me with 2, and inside my bracket, a plus 2. And in the denominator, I have a plus 3 a minus 3, a plus 1. In this particular case, we do not uh, need to cancel anything out, but you do have to leave your questions um, in factored form. On the Unit 2 test, especially the test center test, sometimes I've noticed that students go from factored form and then you try to combine it, but you can just leave your answers in factored form, okay? Keep that in mind for Unit 2 and 3 unless you cannot factor. Okay, let's go to a little bit more complicated of a question. I'm going to go ahead and factor my difference of squares. I know that's going to factor to x plus 3, x minus 3. So this issue comes up on the Unit 2 guide as well. So you notice that I have an x plus 3, x minus 3, x plus 3, and everything looks nice and neat. Then I have 3 minus x. The number is coming before the variable. 
So can someone tell me how can I tweak this rational expression? So I'm looking at this first rational expression. How do I tweak it so that the 3 minus x can look like x minus 3? What do I have to do to 3 minus x to make it look like x minus 3? Exactly. All you have to do is multiply 3 minus x by negative 1. And when you do, th oh, sorry, 3 minus x by negative 1 is going to be equal to x minus 3. We're just multiplying by negative 1, if that lets me do a bracket. So to make it even simpler, so that's the same as, sorry, yeah, that would work. So all I really have to do in order to get x minus 3, change the 3 minus x to x minus 3, is I'm going to multiply the numerator by negative 1. So all I'm doing is multiplying the numerator by negative 1. Essentially, I'm multiplying the whole term by negative 1. So that's what switches around the denominator. Okay, guys over there, I want to see you taking notes. Otherwise, there's no point in being here, okay? Paper, pencil, have that out. No, 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 boys, right here. Cedric and friend. You're not taking any notes? You have? Okay, good. That's what I want to see. Okay, so can someone tell me now what is my common denominator? And maybe let's separate this. No, let's turn it into one thing. My common denominator. What is my common denominator? X plus Good. X plus 3, X minus 3. That is my common denominator. So now, my first term has a negative X in it. Negative X. What do I have to multiply the first numerator by in order for this denominator to match this denominator. What is it missing? What is the first term missing? X plus 3. Good. So that's for my first term. For my second term, remember that this subtraction sign belongs to the X. So now it's a negative X. For here, this positive belongs to the 1. Okay. So if I take negative X again, what do I have to now multiply the second term by? What is the second term missing in order to match up to the common denominator? What is the second term missing? Yep. X minus 3. Good. And finally, for the very last, the third term, I have a positive 1 in the numerator. Is my third rational expression missing anything? No, so I don't have to multiply anything to the numerator. The numerator just st stays positive 1. So my next step is to apply my distributive property. I have my common denominator, x plus 3, x minus 3. I can go, and ha go ahead and state my restrictions. x plus 3 cannot be equal to 0. That means that x cannot be equal to negative 3 x minus 3 cannot be equal to 0. That means that x cannot be equal to positive 3. Those are my two restrictions. And I can apply the distributive property. Negative x times x is negative x squared. Negative x times positive 3 is negative 3x. Negative x times x is negative x squared. Negative x times negative 3 is a positive 3x. And finally, positive 1. So, by combining like terms, what is my final numerator going to be? By combining like terms, can someone tell me what is my final answer for the numerator? One. Uh, positive 1 is part of it. Is there anything else? Yes, ne negative 2x squared plus 1. Negative 2x squared plus 1. Because the po negative 3x and the positive 3x cancel each other out. Can I factor the numerator?